Good morning from Mission Control Houston and welcome inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room for this Friday's edition of ISS Update. You're looking down as the Orbit 2 team is manning their consoles, monitoring all the systems on board this orbiting laboratory. That team being led for the final time in his career today by veteran flight director Paul Dye there, wrapping up an over 15 year career as a flight director. Started off on STS-63 back in 1995 and today will be his final shift as a flight director for the Human Spaceflight Program. Joining him at the Capcom position there will be Anna Fisher, serving as the communication link between all of our teams here down on the ground and our astronauts up in space. Those astronauts right now engaged in a number of experiments uh, are the crew of Expedition 34. They're being led by NASA astronaut Kevin Ford there in the front row on the left. This is his second uh, flight into space. Immediately behind him are uh, the Russian cosmonauts that flew with him on his Soyuz craft back in October to the station, Oleg Novitsky and Evgeny Tarelkin. Over there on the right side are our three newest crew members on board the International Space Station arriving back in December. Uh, they are Russian cosmonaut Roman Romanenko, Canadian Space Agency astronaut Chris Hadfield there in the front row on the right. Finally, all the way on the right there, a second NASA astronaut rounding out this six-man crew, Tom Marshburn. So a week that started off with the holiday is filled up quickly for these Expedition 34 astronauts. Uh, starting off on Monday, Commander Kevin Ford was uh, checking out a few relief uh, relief valves in one of the clean bench experiment facilities in the Japanese Kabo module. Also holding a conference that day with a future crew member, uh, NASA astronaut Chris Cassidy. While he was working on that, our three Russian cosmonauts, Novitsky, Turelkin, and Romanenko, enjoyed an off-duty day as they were celebrating the Russian Christmas holiday. Meanwhile, Chris Hadfield and Tom Marshburn were busy collecting biological samples for the ongoing human research facility. Uh, those samples include things like blood, urine, and saliva that these astronauts collect and then store in any number of cryogenic freezers on board the station. They were working with the Melfi or the minus 80 degrees laboratory freezer. Aside from that, they were doing some periodic health status checks and also reaction self-tests. Moving on to Tuesday, Commander Ford was doing uh, his own biological experiments and uh, body monitoring. He was doing a monthly periodic fitness evaluation on the station Cevus, which is one of the stationary cycles used for exercise on board. Aside from that, he was gathering up some hardware for some work he'd be doing uh, the following day inside of the combustion integrated rack. Meanwhile, Russian cosmonaut uh, Oleg Novitsky was emptying what's known as the soft tank over in the Russian segment, also doing a few cable uh, running operations inside of the Russian Zvezda service module for upcoming multi-purpose laboratory module integration. Fellow Russian cosmonaut Evgeny Turelkin was uh, doing some maintenance activity throughout the Russian segment on Tuesday, cleaning some of the panel vent screens and replacing the dust filters throughout the Russian segment's air revi revitalization system. He was also doing some routine replacement work inside of the Russian toilets. Meanwhile, Roman Romanenko started up the plasma crystal experiment, which would be run throughout this week. That is a fairly complex look at the study of uh, the growth of plasma dust structures in microgravity, hoping to look at how the uh, particle clouds behave and their internal flow structure and plasma dust crystals are affected uh, during uh, trips into space. Also, uh, alongside with Evgeny Turokin, he was busy making a documentary about life on board the International Space Station. Meanwhile, uh, again on Tuesday, Chris Hadfield was collecting a few more biological samples for that human research facility and also running his first uh, instance of the InSpace 3 experiment, which would also be run throughout this week. InSpace standing for Investigating the Structure of Paramagnetic Aggregates from Colloidal Emulsions. It's looking to obtain data on different fluids containing ellipsoid-shaped particles that then uh, change the physical properties of the fluids they're suspended in in response to varying magnetic fields. Sixth crew member Tom Marshburn was uh, doing some work for the environmental health system, setting up acoustic dosimeters, which look to monitor sound loads throughout the station to make sure they're acceptable for crew help, also working inside of the internal thermal control system on Tuesday. Moving on to Wednesday, Commander Ford was busy inside the Biolab glove box, changing out some of the uh, gloves inside. He was also uh, back in that on Thursday as he was doing an ozone sensor check. Aside from that, he was 
Uh, also working on the combustion integrated rack, he was removing the multi-user droplet combustion apparatus, doing a few hardware replacement works on that. Meanwhile, Oleg Novitsky was busy with the Russian bar experiment alongside Evgeny Turelkin that looks to uh, develop uh, different selection and testing methods for detecting uh, any depressurization on board the International Space Station. Aside from that, he was working on uh, some maintenance ops inside of the Russian Zvezda service module, replacing some of the overlay panels on the interior. Meanwhile, Evgeny Turelkin assisted Novitsky with that bar experiment and those overlay panels and was also on photography duty for that uh, plasma crystal experiment, which was uh, then being run by his uh, fellow Russian cosmonaut Ro Roman Romanenko, who again will be uh, running that experiment throughout the week. Aside from that plasma crystal, R Romanenko on Wednesday was inside of the 49 Progress cargo vehicle, taking some of the cargo out and loading in uh, a number of different trash items. You can see the station structure and makeup right here. Uh, currently two unmanned cargo Progress vehicles docked alongside with the two Soyuz craft that carried these six astronauts to their home on board the station. Meanwhile, on Wednesday, Chris Hadfield was working inside of the water hygiene compartment. He was doing some uh, annual overhaul uh, performance work. He was uh, replacing a number of uh, items inside of the WHC uh, that are used to process urine. He was in there uh, taking out the urine valve block and a number of the lines and pressure sensors, and also replacing the flush uh, water tank empty pressure sensor. You can see uh, Hadfield working here again. This taking place on Wednesday inside that water hygiene compartment doing some uh, annual replacement work. Aside from that maintenance activity uh, on Wednesday, Hadfield was also uh, conducting the reversible figures experiment, which looks to uh, investigate how microgravity affects these astronauts' perception of uh, various ambiguous figures. Our sixth crew member on Wednesday, Tom Marshburn, was uh, recharging and setting up a few more ac acoustic dosimeters for the environmental health system and also getting his first shot at running the capillary flow experiment. This is a fluid physics experiment on board the International Space Station that looks to investigate how fluids move up surfaces in microgravity. Uh, the results are hoping to approve uh, any computer models that are used down here on the Earth by uh, future spacecraft designers as they continue to develop new low gravity and microgravity fluid systems, uh, hoping to improve on all fluid transfer systems for both water and fuel on future spacecrafts. Moving on to Thursday, Commander Kevin Ford back inside that Biolab glove box doing a, a check on the ozone sensor inside. And uh, you can see that Biolab glove box here. It's used for uh, conducting a number of different biological experiments inside of the station's Columbus module with uh, various microorganisms, fungi, and also uh, small invertebrates having been flown to the station. They are then able to subject them to uh, various conditions also a centrifuge inside to simulate uh, gravity and compare the two results side by side, uh, also uh, allowing these astronauts to uh, not only expose uh, different microorganisms and biological samples to microgravity, but also the radiation experienced in space. Aside from that, he was uh, busy most of the day alongside his fellow USOS crew members Hadfield and Marshburn as they were manipulating the uh, station's robotic arm, also known as Canada Arm 2. Uh, Ford was inside the cupola and the three astronauts uh, reviewed all the safety and uh, procedural uh, items before each getting a, a chance to get their hands on the controls and perform a walk-off of the robotic arm. And while they were doing that, uh, Oleg Novitsky was inside of the uh, Russian service module finishing up some work on those uh, overlay plates. It was the second day of that. Following that, he moved on to uh, the Urigan experiment, which is an ongoing uh, Russian monitoring uh, project to observe and photograph both natural and man-made disasters and hopefully assist in any uh, responses down on the ground. Meanwhile, Evgeny Tarelkin was doing uh, comm subsystem uh, maintenance work alongside he was assisted by Novitsky. Also, uh, a little bit later in the day, Tarelkin was doing a uh, Russian biological experiment uh, looking at the cardiovascular system as he exposed himself to uh, various physical loads while on the, the VLO, which is the Russian version of the SEVIS, one of the stationary bicycles on board the station. Roman Romanenko on Thursday was inside of the 48 
Progress, having previously been inside the 49 Progress vehicle, uh, doing some more cargo operations and updating the station's inventory management system. Aside from that, he was uh, working on the station's Electron, uh, which is one of uh, two oxygen generating devices on board, which uh, derives oxygen uh, from water and then pumps it into the station's atmosphere, giving these uh, astronauts a safe breathing environment. Meanwhile, Chris Hadfield was conducting another run of that InSpace 3 experiment and also uh, participating in that uh, robotic arm control activity. Meanwhile, Tom Marshburn, aside from doing the robotic arm activity on Thursday, was inside of the station's uh, Quest airlock. You can see him here uh, surrounded by the EMUs or extravehicular mobility units that these astronauts will wear, uh, U.S. astronauts and uh, some international partner astronauts will wear whenever they uh, conduct spacewalks on board the station. He was inside of that Quest airlock doing some maintenance on the pistol grip tool. As you can see in his hand there, it's the uh, multi-purpose uh, drill and uh, ratchet tool used by these astronauts when uh, working on the uh, external station structure for all of their spacewalks. And all of that uh, leads into today, Friday, the end of the week for these Expedition 34 astronauts. Kevin Ford uh, began his day working on the SLAMMED, or the Space Linear Acceleration Mass Measurement Device. It's a device using um, known forces and um, in order to measure the astronaut's body mass as they can't uh, just step on a scale due to that lack of gravity. Uh, aside from that, he'll be spending a lot of his time today, including right now, working on the SPHERES project. The SPHERES Zero Robotics uh, is a an ongoing competition of over 20 teams of high school students who are gathered at MIT today. Students develop different algorithms for uh, maneuvering these small bowling ball sized satellites throughout the microgravity environment of the International Space Station. So he'll be assisted by that by Tom Marshburn throughout the day today as they uh, run through the competition and are currently uh, talking with the students and the organizers uh, at MIT up in Massachusetts. Meanwhile, Oleg Novitsky is continuing uh, his work with the Urigan experiment, that uh, man-made natural disaster monitoring uh, set up on board the station. Also running another session of the BAR experiment alongside with Evgeny Tarelkin, looking at different methods for uh, identifying depressurization on board the station. Aside from that, Tarelkin will be photographing a number of the windows throughout the Russian segment as they uh, are always checking the uh, quality of these uh, throughout their space flights. The third Russian cosmonaut, Roman Romanenko, will be conducting uh, one more run of that plasma crystal experiment before getting into uh, a couple of maintenance activities over in the Russian uh, segment. Meanwhile, Chris Hadfield uh, running one more uh, instance of the InSpace 3 experiment and also uh, taking a few uh, samples from the internal thermal control system on board the International Space Station. And then our final crew member today, Tom Marshburn, working with those spheres and also a little bit earlier this morning participating in another run of the reversible figures experiment and setting up a few more acoustic dosimeters.